hello student welcome to learn more maths today we are going to find the solution for the given problem uh, from chapter 4 a pair of linear equations in two variables uh, x is 4.2 so there are 10 problems in x is 4.2 student uh, so man on 9 up to 9th problem 9th problem varaku solution ela find out cheyalo nerchukundam ee roju 10th problem so ela solution find out cheyalo nerchukundama Student, every time you are watching video, first of all, subscribe channel subscribe to Learn More Maths by Varakumar Vatnala. So, if you YouTube channel open and search for Varakumar Vatnala, type in the video, open and subscribe to the subscribe channel open to the playlist. You will be able to subscribe to the playlist in every chapter. So, every chapter is related to the exercise wise. So, videos ni no upload jas tu nana ka, bete mero prati video fourth ya video choose mero three four times practice chase net lete easy ga mero santanga chaygal utaro. So, iros mana on tenth problem four point two exercise lo ami chedu chuda mo. So, C student exercise four point two problem number ten. You have rupees twelve thousand saved amount and wants to invest it in two schemes yielding ten percent. And 15% interest. How much amount should be invested in each scheme so that you should get overall 12% interest? So, student, I am to know that you have 12,000 rupees. And 12,000 rupees is 10% interest. So, how much amount is 15% interest? So, how much amount is your investigation? Invest here. So, total overall is your 12% interest ravali rendu kalpi aithe 10% interest ent amount in cheyali invest cheyali so 15% amount ent anedi so he is asking to find us so first we have to identify the unknown quantities ante 10% interest yield cheyadaniki ent amount 15% interest yield cheyadaniki ent amount invest cheyalo mano teliyadu kabatti oka x okati y anukundamu so c student let the amount to be invest let the amount to be invest 10% interest let the amount to be invest at 10% to yield 10% rate of interest be rupees x so 10% rate of interest amount to x rupees ne 10% interest to invest cheyadam anukundamu so, अलागे 15% interest invested amount एमो y रुपीस अनकोंदाम, रुपीस y अनकोंदाम. So, 10% interest रावडान की, मनम x रुपीस, 10% interest तो x रुपीस नी इन्वेश चेस्ते, so 15% interest तो y रुपीस नी इन्वेश चेदाम, but total amount मात्रन 12,000 गावटी, total amount is equal to 12,000. That is the sum of these two is equal to 12,000. The sum of these two. So, x plus y is equal to 12,000. x plus y is equal to 12,000. This is our equation number 1. Let it is equation number 1. So, C student, 10% uh, of uh, x plus 15% uh, of uh, <coughs> <coughs> 10% of rupees x and 15% of rupees y is equal to 12% of rupees 12,000. So, 10% of x and 15% of y is equal to 12% of 12,000 that is 10 by 100 into x plus 15 by 100 into y is equal to 12 by 100 into 12,000. So, C student, uh, this is our equation number 2. So, 10% of x, 10% means divided by 100. 10 divided by 100 into x plus 15% means 15 divided by 100 into y is equal to 12 by 100 into 12,000. So, these are the required two equations student. Uh, so, here in the equations, you just know x and y values so find out. So, student, you learn the problems lo mano equations form jayadam ravali equations form jayadam achindhante solution find out jayadam easy ga oosthundi 
ఫస్ట్ ఈక్వేషన్స్ ఎలా ఫామ్ చేయాలో నేర్చుకోవాలి సో సి స్టూడెంట్ లైక్ దిస్ వీ కెన్ ఫామ్ ద ఈక్వేషన్స్ ఫర్ ద గివెన్ సిచ్యువేషన్ సో సొల్యూషన్ స్టూడెంట్ సీస్ సో లెట్ ద అమౌంట్ టు ఇన్వెస్ట్ లెట్ ద let the amount to invest on 10% let the amount to invest on 10% be rupees x and that of and that of 12% be rupees y so let the amount to invest on 10% be rupees x and that of 12% be rupees y but total is equal to total money is equal to rupees 12000 that is the sum of these two is equal to 12000 that is x plus y is equal to 12000 so next uh, so 10% of rupees x 10% of rupees x and plus 15% of rupees y is equal to 12% of rupees 12000 12% of rupees 12000 so student 10% of x is 10 divided by 100 into x plus it is 15 divided by 100 into y is equal to 12 divided by 100 into 12000 so see student uh, here uh, 10 into x is 10x plus 15 into y is 15y so 100 is common in both the denominators is equal to 100 we can write 12 into 12000 divided by 100 so 100 100 gets cancelled so in these two 5 is common student if you take 5 is common so here you can get 2x plus 3y is equal to 12 into 12000 so c student 2x plus 3y is equal to so 12 into 12000 divided by 5 so 5 1 so 5 2 are 10 20 5 4 are 20 0 0 so 12 into 24000 so see student uh, how much we can get uh, so 2x plus 3y is equal to 2x plus 3y is equal to so 12 into 0 0 12 into 0 again 0 12 fours are 48 and 4 12 twos are 24 4 28 so it is 28,800 student 28,800 let it is equation number 2 so now we have to solve equation 1 and 2 student so for that we have to equalize the coefficient of x i am multiplying equation 1 by 2 on both sides multiplying multiplying equation 1 multiplying equation 1 by 2 on both sides by 2 on both sides on both sides so see student this is equation 1 i want to multiply by 2 on both sides so that is 2 into x plus y is equal to 2 into 12000 so that is a 2x plus 2y is equal to 24000 let it is equation number 3 so subtract equation 3 from equation 2 so subtracting subtracting equation 3 from equation 2 
from equation 2 so first write equation 3 uh, first write equation 2 that is 2x plus 3y is equal to 28,800 so see students subtracting equation 3 from equation 2 so this is uh, equation 2 2x plus 3y equal 28,800 this is equation 3 2x plus 2y is equal to 24,000 24, so by subtracting it becomes minus it becomes minus it becomes minus so 2x minus 2x gets cancelled 3y minus 2y is plus 1y so we need not to write one student uh, is equal to 28800 minus 24000 is uh, 4800 4800 so now we have to substitute y equal to 4800 in equation 1 so see student what we get uh, substituting substituting y is equal to 4800 in equation 1 in equation 1 so what is equation 1 x plus y is equal to 12000 so substitute y is equal to 4800 that is uh, x plus y y is equal to 4800 is equal to 12000 that implies uh, x is equal to 12,000 minus 4,800. So, see student uh, take plus, plus 4,800 to the right side it becomes minus 4,800. Therefore, x is equal to 7,200. 7,200. Therefore, the amount to be invested. Therefore, the amount to invest uh, to invest at 10 percent is rupees 7200 and at 12 percent is rupees 4800 so this is the amount student the amount to invest at 10 percent is 7200 and the, at a 12 percent is 4800 so like this uh, we can solve uh, problems on exercise 4.2 student uh, that's all today's class uh, so student uh, total ga video mottam watch chudandi choosin tarata meer practice cheyali kachithanga 4 5 times practice chesinatlaithe meer easy ga cheyagalutaru that's all today's class student uh, we will meet in the next class